Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a evening episode, it's 2.30 a.m. here, of Hopped Up Gaming Presents Late Night Gaming. Let's play Earthbound. They're gonna look at me funny when I walk into the hotel lobby. Yes. <laughs> like 3 o'clock in the morning, and they just get this fucking stench of fish and beer. Dude, and taquitos. They work in a hotel, they've seen everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you wouldn't even bat an eye. Okay, when I worked at a hotel... At one point, we oh, walked. This. We had to go into people's uh, rooms to put up signs warning them not to step in the balcony because it was construction. We walked into the guy's room and we found a, a suit spread out on the ground, and it was a a squirrel type mascot suit with a bushy tail and a policeman hat, Is ready to be going on? ready to be put on. I don't know if it was nobody was there, but. Basically, I went in, I saw it, I went back in the hall, told my two buddies, You guys, can check this out. There's pictures of it. How the fuck did we not get fired from that job? Dude. Man. We got paid ridiculous amounts of money, and we were, like, watching TV and stuff. Like, like, it was just, like... It was... I wasn't watching TV. Yes. Yes. It what happens when it was ridiculous. What happens when there's three people, or like a job three people can do, and like they want ten people? Oh, I know. And they give us like eight, like we we spend eight hours doing a two-hour job. Like it's crazy. The moles are all dead. What are you doing? I'm looking for the dude. He's supposed to give us gold. I want you the gold. Go Where the gold at? Go sleep and then talk to him. I just did that, and he vanished. By the way, Emery and I's song, like real Emery, Emery and I's song of the year is uh, Trinidad James, all gold, everything. I hate you. Dude, that's a jam. How long is this hipster bullshit irony gonna go? How long is this gonna last? Okay. It's been a while since I've dipped into ironically liking rap music. But we talked James, about this like two weeks ago. We did, oh. yeah. But, turn that James, man, that's a jam. That's a jam. Sing about Scissor. No, he uh, talks about popping Molly and makes him sweat. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Mm. It's Danny Brown shit. Where, where is this dude? I don't know. This is your... You have the list. What do you guys gotta do uh, now? Oh, I gotta go back. Yeah, and then he stops you on the road. Does he? Or something like that. Yeah, that, that gives you a diamond or something? This bridge is really long, right? It's not that bad. It's like three screens. You could bike with Ness dead. You know, the first time I ever heard about Nest was in Smash Bros. That's a lot of people. Yeah, I yeah. never knew about Earthbound before that. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Look at this asshole. It was, it was a cult classic, basically. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's because, like we said, it's, um, ape programming or whatever became HAL, right? No, yeah. HAL, HALKIN became HAL. Okay, okay. Ape went out of business. I think ape may have only done the... Yeah, uh, how did this game, and they also did Smash Bros. Oh, I see. Which is why, like, no other mm. first or second party, even if they were Nintendo, would ever put Ness in a game if it wasn't the guys that made it. I see, I see. It makes sense, though. It, it, mother, mother games are like Nintendo's dirty secret, which is really bizarre. Wait, can we go right? back and get that diamond? Yeah. Fuck. It's right there. Fuck. Um, okay, so how many games are there in this series? Mother one, mother, mother, mother one, two, two and, and mother three. Mother two is also known as. Which one is Earthbound? This mother, mother two. two. Mother three is like Japan only. Yeah, it came up for the Game Boy Advance, and it despite considerable demand, <laughs> ludicrous demand. I've often like read a lot of articles about how like JRPGs are still kind of strong in Asia, but they don't get released anymore. Go inside the building. Go inside the building. That's what the dude is. What's the diamond for? Oh fuck, now what? She seems to give us. Ah! There we go. Okay, awesome. Alright. What's the diamond for? I gotta go pay off that debt. Remember the million dollars of Runaway 5-0? I don't Are know, I don't know why we're trying to spring them. <laughs> Cause we're good people? Are we? Diamond is worth a million dollars? Pretty good diamond. Didn't you, didn't you ever hear that song, Diamonds to Sierra Leone? Uh, Kanye West? What was that song about? Um, 
slave children. Diamonds she ain't nothing but forever. a gold digger. Forever. Um. Talk about old bonds locks. Well, it has a sample. Uh, Skyfall was overrated. Uh, Fuck you, that movie looked awesome. Okay, look, it looked yes, awesome. Yes, it did. I heard way too much hype before I saw it, so I was underwhelmed. Yes, we did. Really? Yeah, everyone I saw it was like, It's amazing! It's the best Bond ever! And I, I saw it. Everyone always says that shit. Doesn't this, bug you, right? This yeah. felt different. Like, I felt like someone like someone said the words, This defines the Bond films. Goldfinger and... is still better. Goldeneye's still better. That's just because it came out in 95. Exactly. Everything was, the the <laughs> yeah, Everything was better in the 90s. Yeah, that's, in the that's 90s. what it is. I mean, like... I mean, I, I can't get exci I can't get excited about it anymore. You know. I mean, I, I really like Bond movies. Do you guys ever wear this game's no good? It's only good because we were five when it came out. Here's an idea. Nostalgia is responsible for all of your taste. Yeah. Yes. Entirely true. That's your point. That is an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to qualify anything. They're just ideas. Well, it's just because like <laughs> they've done studies on this about how like yeah, like the the albums you listen to, the games you play, tickets. What are you guys doing? You're going into the hotel? I'm going to see another show. Oh, I see. I got to pay off this uh, lady. Okay. I think I got to go out of that. Deep doo doo. Yeah, snore a lot of coke. Just fucking get a million dollars. Again, it's, that. It's, it's a swimmable amount of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> when you can swim in something granular, you, you've made it to the big time. Fuck something up bad. Oh, man. Shut up. I pressed the wrong button. Diamonds. Yay! She ripped, she ripped up the contract. contract. How are these guys not a ska band? Have crazy debt everywhere. Like <laughs> their shows suck. <laughs> <laughs> they miss all their cues. That one dude has a saxophone. And this is like this is like 18 years old. So yeah. <laughs> they have a six member that no one knows about. <laughs> Guy just dances and like <laughs> smiles. <laughs> Man, <laughs> dancer. They have a boss tone. A boss tone. Or players borderline retarded. Um, would you argue that Real Big Fish had great music and shitty lyrics? I don't think I have a lot of one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I like Real Big Fish. I sure. love Real Big Fish. But, but, <laughs> here's an idea. <laughs> they've, got a, they've got a great song about beer. Here's an idea. <laughs> Ska is really song. not that great a genre. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But, you're you're the biggest Scott head here. I know. I, can, I mean, I can argue that about metal. I love fucking metal. Well, Nin bad 90, metal. Ninety-five percent of metal is bullshit. Here's an idea. Metal's worse than ska. Oh, can you say that? No, I really people can't. still listen to metal. People still <laughs> listen to ska. Ska's Whatever. <laughs> hey, they're hitting their cues. What's the name of the band? Runaway Five. Six oh, it's totally a ska band. They got like a lady singer too. Oh yeah, from Safe Ferris. Yeah, or no doubt. <laughs> There's not that many of them. No doubt. No doubt used to be a ska band before they went crazy for a couple of weeks. Yeah, for a couple. I think Gwen Stefani got rich. Dude, can't but, be rich and in a ska band. And married uh, the guy from Bush, Gavin Rossdale. Really? Yeah, I think so. They're married. married or were married. Probably should have just that. They just get in the bang bus with that girl? <laughs> they just left the rest of their band. <laughs> Fuck Look, you guys! However low I get in my life, at least I'll think, at least I didn't jump in a car and have sex with a stranger on video for money. <laughs> Wait, you never have? No, not yet. I mean, I the bang bus is fake. I know. Don't but do that. Just, just like, uh. Here's an idea don't ruin my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that someday this guy hears some of the shit. <laughs> Just comes at us. Can we start Twitter beef with the PBS idea guy? Yeah! Dude, I'd love to do that. I never had Twitter beef with anybody. Twitter beef, man. 
Twitter feed. That's where it's at. That is where it's That's at. You know, you've made the it's only place where celebrities call each other out, man. Yeah, like I told you, when Chad Nickelback yeah, yeah, yeah. called out fucking uh, the dude from Sum 41. Like, Derek Sum 41. That should never happen. I know, I know. No, but it should always happen. Or like, this happened like a few years ago when like, Chris Cornell was doing a song with Timberlands. Oh yeah, because Chris Cornell's good. Yeah, right. Hey, he, he did the song for uh, Casino Royale. Yeah, he did, yeah. And did you know the guys from Audio Slave, Rage's Machine, the, the backing band, they played on that song? Really? Yeah. Wow. They, they what? Them. Yeah. Really? Paycheck. Yeah, I guess, you know, to be fair, Rage Against Machine was in a bunch of fucking video clubs with a bunch of movie soundtracks, too, so they're no better. Yeah, but, okay, okay, they are better, and this is the reason why. Rage Against Machine was on the Godzilla soundtrack yes, for, for No Shelter. The song is called No Shelter. Yes. In the lyrics of No Shelter, you have this line. Godzilla, pure motherfucking filler. Keep your eyes off the real killer. They fucking... Boom. Boom, man. Still got paid a hell of a lot of money for that. Oh, yeah, but they fucking... Which I'm it. fine with, but it, it's just... But they dissed the know. movie in the in the song, and then got a song on the album. Isn't that awesome? Well, white people are dumb. Old white people are yeah, dumb. Yeah, old white people are dumb. dumb. Yeah. And I'm pretty Godzilla dumb. was a bad movie. I saw it in theaters. <laughs> just nod your head along. Yeah, you yeah. know you're pretty dumb. Oh, shit, is this where things go weird? Yep. We haven't bought equipment yet, have we? No, not here. This is a shopping mall? Because we're pretty dumb. It's a department store. Nice. Oh, this is just like a Korean body. department store where I go up like 16 yeah, tool. escalators. Yeah, that's this thing that always bothered me is like when I was young, I was like, there are no, there are no malls like this. Yeah, Korea is like this, escalators everywhere. Please sell some shit. That's not, that's not here. It's here. Shopping tool. Tool. That was bad. <laughs> was it? It is, I think. <laughs> Why would I buy that when she's about to disappear for a while? Not that I know spoilers. anything about. <laughs> Spoiler alert! Sell some shit. Spoilers! Sell some shit. Where's she gonna go? Sorry. Shit. What is the objective right now? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you tell me? <laughs> Just follow along. You don't know. Still have a bracelet? Nickel poisoning from that shit. Yeah. Nickelback poisoning. You know some of the Ayn Rand heads, they, they eat silver. And they turn blue. <laughs> because you're not supposed to eat silver. That's not a real thing that you're saying, right? Like, <laughs> that's, that's a real thing. I don't some, think anything you some just people, said Some is people real. believe in the healing properties of silver. They also they... believe in the secret. <laughs> well, we've been bullshit on the, the secret power? Like a couple of hours. Yeah, let's do, do that you again. Use, do you use the secret or the power? I want to know. <laughs> what about the glory? Is that another one? <laughs> no, I, I thought this was a reference to uh, the, the kingdom of the power and the glory of Jesus Christ. Oh, no, no, no. I meant... I thought we were talking about, about like, the soundtrack from the, the Transformers movie. Like, what? I have the touch. I've got the touch. I heard a recent... Lincoln, so zip I heard a recent Linkin Park song. It was terrible. <laughs> well, of course it was. As, a, as opposed to how great the old Linkin Park songs were? <laughs> Dude, no, whatever, okay? I defy you to go in a car, have In the End come on, and not end up singing along. Yeah. Defy me all you want! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna change the station. You're doing it wrong. Hybrid Theory was wicked. Hybrid Theory was wicked awesome. <laughs> I remember, like, for one Christmas, I got Raised Against the Machine, Battle of Los Angeles, and Linkin Park Hybrid Theory. One of those albums is aged better than the other one. And you just, like, sat in your room and just raged oh, all dude. fucking day? All day. All day. Yeah. Those I listen to those albums a lot. Because I got a Walkman the same uh, Christmas. Shit. What are you doing? Point of defense. Bing! By the yo-yo. Oh. Um, when Emery prays, who does she pray to? Me. That's technically correct. The player? I think I'm lying. This game is weird. This game's great. Thanks for having me over. I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> that has been the consensus of everyone else who's been in this fucking room. <laughs> These were like kind of on point for like here and there. When 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 Mike and Connor were here, they just talked about Pokemon 
and like Warhammer, like on the sidelines. Oh yeah. Well miked for like. Tell you about their Warhammer uh, yeah. armies, like. Apparently they like orcs. No, I, I like orcs. I have an orc. Army. I have a fucking Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, I, I have I have a uh, I have a blue collar themed orc army. That's awesome. Called the Blue Collar Boys. I love Springsteen. Who are led Who are led <laughs> by War Boss Orc Springsteen. In, in Warhammer lore, they call him Da Boss. It's not right? okay. It's not okay. Like, the, the odds that he's not Bruce Springsteen <laughs> are very low. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I mean. <laughs> oh, shit. It's getting weird. Whoa, whoa. That was weird. Told you. Where's she gone? <laughs> she got nabbed in the department, department store? Everything, she gone! Everything is flipped real fast. Go home. The customer can want. Gwog! Gwog! Well, call that, that's what it's called. That's what it's called when the orcs call uh, home. Call home. Call attack home. a uh, mom or dad. Well, I don't know. Make sure we're not homesick. This <laughs> game is girlfriend. Thank you, Honey Emery. Wa is what the orcs call war, right? Yeah, it's a wa. a wog. Yeah. When you're declaring a, a, a wog, you can do once per battle. Gives a bonus to all your orcs, <laughs> and I I don't, I don't think it's a real wog. Like you you can't just say you're declaring a wog. You actually have to fucking wog. Yeah. Whoa. In public, yeah. wherever you are, like <laughs> you gotta take your. You're orcs. in the comic book shop. You gotta say it. Like, you gotta take your orcs seriously. All right. You gotta oh, punch man. out at least one person around you. These, these are the blue collar boys. Whoa, that's <laughs> a that's a, a treasure box, but it's attacking you. Is it guitar? Music. Musica. 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 That's Spanish for. What a weird, right shitty bass is this? <laughs> two string bass. <laughs> is that a thing? It's four pegs, but there's two strings, so. <laughs> Dave was on acid once and uh, was really <laughs> obsessed with the G string for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> Let's get real confessional. <laughs> Three. This is the easiest time I've ever had with this department store. This Normally, actually... there's. There's enemies fucking everywhere. There's actually... hot cups of coffee and they beat the shit out of you. This is kind of nuts, actually. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Wait, what happened to that? <laughs> you found God. I had a really good time. I had a great time, too. You found I... God and probably lost him. Yeah, probably. There's no coffee. Coffee's the real end. Yeah, it's hot coffee. That's goes all over you. Uh, have you seen the documentary Hot Coffee? It's about the, you know, the old story. Yes. Ooh, wow. Why are you fighting records? I mean, I, I mean, I shouldn't even ask these questions. Because like, it's a department store. The mystical record. And the music. Fighting like the White Album. Yeah, but no, the guys. I the White Album. The uh, documentary Hot Coffee. It's about the woman from McDonald's who spilled hot coffee on herself and sued McDonald's. Wow. She's the truest American hero. Well, here's the thing: is that she became the butt of a joke. I know it was legit. Like if you actually look down at it, but. I don't know. Dude, she had third degree burns and she had to get skin grafts on her like I know. thighs. Why is that coffee so hot? They they changed it afterwards. But uh, in order to kind of dissuade uh, lawsuits afterwards, they, they made her like a joke. It was kind of like manufactured by the corporation. Really? really yeah. yeah. And then like in the documentary they go pretty dark places like fuck. It was a girl who worked for Halliburton. Best of that one Anyway. It all comes back to Halliburton, man. My uh my dad has an honorary degree from Halliburton. <laughs> does does Halliburton issue degrees? He took a training of some sort. Of Halliburton University. <laughs> I don't know. Why didn't I get my degree there? He also goes to you don't the, like money. He also gets invited to the Christmas party almost every year. <laughs> does Dick Cheney make it? Hey alien. Actually my dad my dad was at a conference that Newt Gingrich uh, spoke at. Did awful. your dad throw things? Oh, my dad likes New Game Ranch, so... Okay. But I would have thrown things. <laughs> okay, we Maybe. should hit him with a side hug, and then throw a fucking bottle rocket at his ass. What does Spy do? There's all our bottle rockets. I think Emery has all our bottle rockets. Great. Great! Great! Great. Ooh, we'll be fine, I got this. Hugs. I have a strong feeling you don't got this. I got it. 
Oh, Frank is dead. I still got this. I. Oh man. Oh, the amount in which I think you got this is slipping. Oh. This is tenth man. Oh, why would I not have this? Because Frank's dead. Frank is a fucking Scottish bitch. Experience. We we realized that like the world that takes place in is Eagle Land, which is basically England. Like it's called Eagle Land, and all of the metaphors they're using make sense for it to be America. All right. But geographically, it makes more sense for it to be England. Because huh. Winters is in the far north. Yeah. So like um, the, the 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 dude who just died, Frank, he comes from a boarding school in the far north where they have a Lake Tessie. Where there's a big dinosaur type monster. Oh, and Stonehenge. Yeah. And Stonehenge is there. But Stonehenge is in the south of the Yeah, UK. I know. But it's it's like it's in this oh, it's yeah, in yeah. this geographic region. Okay, okay. And uh Okay. Also plenty talk, plenty talk. when you go south, you arrive at like a uh, a like tropical like beach area essentially, which is like Spain. Because that's where everyone in the British Isles goes for their like holidays. Holiday, yeah. right? They all go to Spain. Um, or the south of France. So where where is where is Emery right now? Uh, Emery got kidnapped by she got something kidnapped called Monatoli. Mo by Mo yeah, she's she's with Monatoli. Is her virginity intact? Don't make this any darker than it needs to be. <laughs> it's, it's getting darker. Is that Sinbad in the movie First Kid? <laughs> Yo, what's Sinbad up to right now? Not a hell of a lot. Let's call Sinbad. Yo, get call Sinbad up, man. It's phone. Ask him if you ever played Earthbound before. <laughs> oh hell yeah, Sinbad! I that every year, man. I imagine that's how you talk to Sinbad. Sinbad, yeah. If I saw him in the street, I'd just be like, Sinbad. Does this mean we need it? Yeah. I've never. This 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 happens. That's weird. I didn't know that happened. Possible. Awesome. Kill your, kill your guy. My dead dude. Yeah. Punch that fucking ass. Good thing he was a good Christian. <laughs> good Catholic boy. Are they... What religion do they practice in people on? <laughs> the happy answer. What? Are you serious? Kind of. <laughs> That's one of them. <laughs> That's a cult. We had to fight the multi. Cult. Oh, yeah, okay. Multi, multi faith Kind of thing. So, here's oh, my... Hey, is this a Canadian thing? What? My what? hotel room has Gideon's Bible, but also a Teachings of the Buddha. Yeah. That's oh, totally that Canadian thing? Totally hotel thing, yeah. Oh, weird. We're multicultural here. We're inclusive. <laughs> and and your, your two cultures are Buddhists and Christians. Yeah. Atheists don't need Multi. No that means more than one. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. I love not wrong. I love when I'm not wrong. Yeah. It's awesome. Here's an idea. Uh, here's an idea. I'm not wrong. <laughs> Wait. Qualify that. <laughs> I won't. Okay. You know, it's exactly like weird. all of my other videos. What are his other like weird videos? The How amazing would that be? If his last one, here's an idea. I've been entirely wrong, <laughs> and I feel very. I, I feel. Deeply I would sad. like. I would like that video <laughs> on YouTube. It goes over every video he's done. He's just like, this is where I fucked up on this one. Thumbs up on that video. Share it. I'll share it. I'll share that. No, I, I would still, I would still comment and be like, "Fuck you, queer." <laughs> YouTube can't be wrong. I do. You guys read YouTube comments? God like, no. Oh Why? yeah, <laughs> they're the best. There was an Oxfam video featured on like the front page of YouTube once, which was like Scarlett Johansson talking. I, I, I fucking screen capped this comment. I have it on my computer. It was great. Fight that old drunk man. It was like Scarlett Johansson endorsing. Uh, some Oxfam thing. Yeah. Right? And, uh, like, the top comment was... Talking about... Talking about... Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember where to go. The top comment was something like, uh, the top comment was something like, I, uh, it, like, I wish that I could donate and get a hold of those big juicy tits. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck? Fucking internet. Why? Why even say that? Because <laughs> cause he can. Because no say one anything. will ever know it was him. Oh, man. Because he can just do it.
That's why. The internet hate machine can't be stopped. What I hate most. Master Pokey. Quit staring at my hips. <laughs> why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Oh, Japanese rape culture. It's judgmental. A little bit. <laughs> Privilege. <laughs> We have a we had a counter for a while. How many times we said privilege check? Oh, how many? Like how many? We stopped have? doing that because it's too many. Yeah. That's pokey. Dude. <laughs> Someone's gonna <laughs> beat you up. Decided not to the last minute. Thank you. It's fun. Oh, I don't know, pokey. Isn't he your neighbor? Yeah. Pig's butt. Piece of shit. That's oh, pig butt. <laughs> It's my buddy. His name is <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> How the fuck did Pokey get here? I'm I, I'm 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 trying to be like, like let's try to like let's try to steer this train back on track. I don't know. Got kicked out, man. Those bouncers, dicks. Why is Pokey rich? Oh, no. he's working for Montoli as his political and economic advisor. Oh. That's sad. It's a Loisius Minch. It's a Loisius Minch, <laughs> Pokey's father. Not a racist stereotype. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my jaw is tired. What from a Loisius? What from Chuff and Dong? Hmm. Pickling pickles. More than they've been pickled. <laughs> Chuffing is a great verb. Chuffing is my favorite verb. Where do you go next? Week? I like I only like it when it's combined of dills. Chuffing dills. Chuffing dill? Chuffing dills is amazing. <laughs> Maybe next time we do a let's play we should do it all in one day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time we do a let's play we should drink ten beers. <laughs> I literally have no idea where we gotta go next. I got this. Do if you, you guys did another Let's Play, what game would it be? I'm not playing a Super Nintendo game. Counter Trigger? Maybe. I don't have that kind of time, man. <laughs> I beat the game for the first time this year. Really? Yeah. Jesus, man. How'd you like it? It was awesome. I just, like, you know how it is, like... You get to a certain point and you put it down, and you come back like a month later, and you're like, what the fuck's happening? Do you want to explain to the class what you're doing? Oh, um. Doesn't everybody know? <laughs> no. Uh, so, Pokey is apparently now chilling up at Monotoli Tower, yes. where he's rich as fuck. Yes. Um, Amory, our young lady, is now in distress. This game needs to check its privilege. But, um,. <laughs> Yes. We gotta go find her somewhere. Yes. Apparently she's trapped up in Monotoli Tower. Yes. But, uh... So we're going back to the desert because... We need a yogurt dispenser. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> How silly of me. Oh, you mean this game isn't popular? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why ever not? It's a real thing I said. I heard you. I heard the words you said. Oh, man. Is that a game machine? Yeah, let's play. Let's gamble. It's Sanchez Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> the Dirty Sanchez Brothers. Don't kick that mic, Stan. Oh, sorry. It's gonna come. It's gonna sound off. Shit, come on. Let me... Oh, sorry. I'm drunk. Lemon. Lemon. Lime, lemon, lemon. Nothing. Is that for margarita? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> What's the definition of an it's a living job? <laughs> it's a living. Put on a bunch of signs and I spin around. Where's this road go to? Anywhere. Read. Bus stop. To the bus stop. Probably could have. We probably could have taken the bus stop. What do you want, mole? Why does mole want? front? Why is mole such a dick? Why must he always front? Should we save here? How many beats we have? Fuck! About there's a phone in that drugstore, right? I hope so. Okay. Uh, I need I need the pencil eraser. We're over nine thousand beats. All okay, right, right.
weird. 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 Too weird. You calling about the numbers? <laughs> Tell me about the numbers. What the numbers mean? <laughs> we really know. No one knows. <laughs> Russian uh, code. Um. Was that episode 18? Yes. I think we're at 19 now. Uh, no. We're in some level of hell. We've got the pencil eraser. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys. Don't worry. We got the pencil eraser. We got Shit, this. So, when am I allowed to go back to my hotel? <laughs> <laughs> this Not is yet. episode 19 of Hobbit Up Gaming Presents. Let's play Earthbound. We're all in hell. Bill's not allowed to leave just yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next episode.